Praise the Lord and good morning. Amen. Welcome to Cathedral of Faith Ministries. Amen. We praise God for you. We thank God for this day that he has so graciously given us. Amen. Amen. We're halfway through. Amen. The month of January. And we're thanking God for him bringing us out of 2021 into 2022. I'm pretty sure that Bishop and Mother Johnson would love to be able to hear from some of you in some way through a text, through a phone call, or typing something in the chat. Just letting them know how you're doing as we continue to, uh, our platform through social media and e-church. Amen. We know that this is doing a new thing. Someone say a new thing. Amen. And we praise God for that. And we also know that beginning of the year is the year that we have declared our first fruits fast. And I'm believing and I know that you are believing that God has done some wonderful things already so far in your fast. Amen. I believe that God is not going to wait to the end of the fast. Amen. To bless some of you miraculously. So we would love amen to know what god is doing amen in your life amen? amen amen this morning our scripture reading is going to come from psalm 62 uh, those of you that are at home and those of you that are in the sanctuary or watching through our social media platforms we ask that wherever you are let's reverence the lord's reading truly my soul waiteth upon god from him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain off, slain all of you as a bowing, amen, wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in his lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. My soul waited, wait thou only upon God, for my expe expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. And God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times. Amen. Ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Surely men of low degree are vanity and, and men of high degree, amen, are a lie. To be laid to the in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set your heart upon them. God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Amen. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy for thou rendereth to every man according to his work. Amen. We know that the Lord is going to have a blessing to the reading of his word coming from Psalm 62. Amen. At this time, we're going to have our prayer. Let us all pray together. Kind and most gracious heavenly father, we love you and we praise you. Father God, we magnify you and we exalt you today. Hallelujah. Father God, we just give you the glory, hallelujah, Father God, that we're able to live and breathe today and have our being, hallelujah. Father God, that lets me know and that lets us know, Father God, that we have, hallelujah, one more chance, hallelujah, at this life that you have given us. This life, Father God, to declare the works of the Lord. Father God, this life, hallelujah, that we have, hallelujah, to have the faith and the hope Father God, in you, Father God, that our needs and our wants will be met. Hallelujah. 
And Father God, you said in your word, hallelujah, come boldly to the throne of grace, hallelujah, where we will find help. And today, Father God, we are coming boldly to the throne of grace, hallelujah. Father God, for the scripture said on today that our hope and our expectation is in you, hallelujah. Oh, I want to know if there's anybody out there expecting anything. Oh, is there anybody out there hoping, a hallelujah, for anything? Hallelujah. Is there anybody out there that's declaring the name of the Lord? Is there anybody out there that's lifting up a banner, a hallelujah, of the name of Jesus? Oh, hallelujah, I just dare you right where you are just to give God a praise. Uh, just begin to give God a hallelujah Shabbat right now. Hallelujah for the things that he is doing. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but the devil and the enemy is mad. Hallelujah on today. Uh, he doesn't want to, hallelujah, have us filled with joy and peace. Uh, oh, but today, whatever state we're in, hallelujah. Oh, with breath in our body, we're going to declare the works of the Lord. Uh, Oh, I declare today, hallelujah, hallelujah, by the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, that we will declare your works. Oh, hallelujah, we will lift up a banner, hallelujah, of the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we will be in expectation, hallelujah, of what you have for us. Oh, Father God, in Jesus' name we pray. We love you and we bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Anyhow, anyway, I bless your name, Lord, every day. 
Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Type it in the chat and say, be lifted. Higher. Be lifted high. Jesus, you. Jesus, you. Hallelujah. Come on, high among all our problems. Higher. High above every situation. Higher. Jesus, you. Jesus, you be lifted higher. We lift you high. Praise the Lord, everyone. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and lift up the name of Jesus. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. On this special day, we come together to share God's goodness. And we have chosen for a subject today, God has a plan for your life. Let us pray. Father, thank you now. Bless us, speak to our hearts and to our minds. Only as you can, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. I thank God today because of his grace and his mercy. In the book of Jeremiah, God has spoken to me uh, and charged me with speaking to you from uh, the book of Jeremiah and chapter number 29. And we're going to uh, speak to you beginning at verse number 11. Father, bless us now. Speak to our hearts and to our minds. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Jeremiah chapter number 29, verse number 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Yes. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Verse number 14, I will be found of you, saith the Lord. I will return, I will turn away your captivity and will gather you from all nations and from all places whither I have driven you 
saith the Lord. I will bring you again into the place whence I cause you to be carried away. Father, bless us now in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. This passage of Scripture today challenges us in a special way. And there are so many themes and thoughts that I want you to gather as we speak to you briefly today. It is important for us to know that our steps are ordered by the Lord. Can I get one witness? Actually, God is in control. He directs our steps and he does what he needs to do. The Bible tells us our steps, uh, the Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. A good man, a good woman, hallelujah. And we have to know that God knows what he is doing. Somebody say he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Amen. He knows everything that he is doing. And you have to know that he expects us to trust him. Hallelujah. He expects us to trust him. Sometimes when we can't understand what he's doing, but we got to trust him. I, I, there's a reference scripture here uh, in uh, Psalms 37, uh, verse number 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not utterly, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Verse 25, I have been young and I am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Verse 26, he is ever merciful, hallelujah, and lendeth. His seed is blessed. You know, there's a blessing in walking with the Lord. The enemy challenges us so often when we walk with the Lord uh, by sending things our way. And sometimes the Lord allows things to come our way that we don't quite understand. Yeah. But you know what? God will speak to you about it. If we take time and stop and have a little talk with the Lord, he'll talk to us. Hallelujah. Because if we don't talk to him Hallelujah. Sometimes our thoughts and our ideas will cause us stress and will cause us doubt and cause us unbelief. And, and this is, this is uh, the reason why the Bible is clear. The Lord speaks to his people. He talks to us. He leads us. And that's why it's so important for us to pray and seek him in prayer and allow him to direct our path and know that even though sometimes my path go a place that I don't want it to go, I wonder how did I get here? But the Bible guarantees that the Lord is in control. In our lesson today, in the book of Jeremiah, God's people uh, were in bondage. Hallelujah. God, people ended up in this book, hallelujah, uh, Jeremiah chapter 29 addresses God's people in exile, in prison, God's people in Babylon. They are there for punishment, for sins, hallelujah. They forgot about God and God allowed them, uh, he allowed Babylon to capture them, Jerusalem and the temple Hallelujah, and everything, they just came in. Sometimes God allows some things that appear to be designed to take us out, but they're designed to bless us. Uh, somebody tell the Lord, thank you. thank you. Hallelujah. But you know, it's so good that the Lord will talk to us about our situation. Uh, sometimes we're in places where we don't understand why we're here, and the devil began to beat us up, and he began to accuse us. Hallelujah. But that's why I chose the, uh, for a subject that God has a plan for your life. And the, the, the steps are ordered by God. And sometimes we don't quite understand it. But we've got to know that God is just. That means he's righteous. He's holy. 
He's pure. And he will keep his word. And the word said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. This chapter, uh, Jeremiah chapter 29, was written uh, to uh, God's people. I, I'm going to read a couple of verses uh, uh, of this chapter because uh, sometimes we go through things and we don't quite understand it. We want to understand why am I here, what happened, and what happened. The old folks sing a song, you'll understand that what? Better by and by. Sometimes God allows us to go through things for a season. Uh, uh, God allow his people to go into exile, to go in prison and be enslaved by the Babylonians. God allowed the Babylonians to destroy Jerusalem and the temple and enslave God's people. Now, uh, Jeremiah, now this letter is written, God, you know, God will speak to you or he'll get somebody to talk to you. Uh, because sometimes if we don't get a word from the Lord, we'll, we'll, we'll get weary and we'll faint. Now, God speaks to the people and tell them about why they're there, how long they're going to be there, and he let them know that I'm in charge. Right. Isn't that a wonderful thing? For God to say, I am in charge. Jeremiah writes to the people to tell them that they would return after 70 years, somebody said 70 years, yeah, yeah. The Lord said, I got my time that I, I'm going to have y'all in Babylonian captivity. And I'm talking to somebody today who is wondering, how long do I have to go through this? How long do I have to deal with this? Why did I get into this? What happened? But the Lord has a word for you today. Hallelujah. And I want you to remember this scripture as we go by, hallelujah. The Bible says that uh, all things work together for good. There's a scripture that teaches us that God is in charge. And even though sometimes bad things happen, but they're happening for our good. Uh, uh, the children of Israel uh, had strayed away, hallelujah, hallelujah, and they had began to do their own things. Uh, but I want somebody here, if you don't hear nothing else today, remember, all things work together for what? Good. No matter what's happening, or those who are called according to his purpose. And you know, it's just like a mother who will spank her child when her child gets out of order. Uh, she does it because she loves him. God does the same thing because he loves us. He chastens us and he allowed his people to be put in bondage by the Babylonians. God allowed his people, hallelujah, uh, to be put in bondage by the Babylonians. And, 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 you know, I, I'm, I'm talking to somebody today who don't understand sometimes, how did I get here? What did I do to deserve this? What did I do to deserve this? But you know what? We need to always remember that God is a righteous God. And he is a God that loves us. Uh, Scripture is clear. Whom he loves, he chastens. Sometimes uh, God has to chasten us because, see, God allows some things. I'm talking to somebody right now who wondering, how did I get here? Uh, what happened that I ended up here? But there's some things that happen for a time and a season. Sometimes God is taking me to another level. Hallelujah. He's got a blessing that I need to go through this before I receive that blessing. You ever seen somebody got blessed and, 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 and the blessing just went through their hands and just was gone? There are times when God want to bless us and he want us to be able to hold on to the blessing and to know that God knows what he's doing. God allow, listen to this word I'm saying here, God allow his people to go into captivity for a period of time because he knew that the blessing that he had for them, where they were, they weren't going to be able to handle it. And I'm talking to somebody today 
who needs to understand that God has chosen his plan for my good. Can I give you a scripture for it? All things work together for what? To them who are the call according to his purpose. For God's people, uh, it was uh, blessed. See, some things, I want you to hear this. Some things that happen in your life, some people might think it was the worst thing that could have happened to you. But when you look back on it, you, know, you say, you say, I'm glad that happened then. Because, see, God's got a bigger blessing for me up here. And if I, if I don't learn that lesson back there, I won't be able to handle this big blessing. I'll miss it. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. God knows what he is doing. And that's why in this lesson here, it's important to know that God allowed his people to go into bondage. Hallelujah. And he told them, you're going to be in bondage for 70 years. 70 years, yeah. I know how to take care of you. I know how to keep you. I know how to uh, deliver you. I know how to provide for you. But God said there is a time, hallelujah, that you're going to have to go through this because I'm going to take you somewhere and you need to learn the lesson. See, every time God uh, allows something to happen, it's not just to take us out. But sometimes it's because he's fitting to take us somewhere higher. And we need to learn, hallelujah, hallelujah, that our steps are ordered by the Lord. Now, God allowed his chosen people to be captured by the Babylonians and to be in bondage. He told them, you're going to be in bondage for 70 years. 70 years, Lord, does it take all that? Yeah. He is righteous. He's holy. Hallelujah. And I want somebody here today to understand that your steps are ordered by the the Lord and God has a plan for your life. Trust him. Don't lean upon your own understanding at all times. Trust him to know that he knows what he is doing. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. I need to know that God has a plan. Hallelujah. God says, you're going to get through this. I'm going to get you through this and you are going to be all right. I'm talking to somebody just right in here. Who wonder why you're going through it? It doesn't seem like he would uh, let me go through this if he loved me. I got scripture for you. Whom he loves, he does what? Chasten. Because your miracles, your blessings are bigger and better down the road. If I can learn how to handle what God is doing with me now. Hallelujah. God said, I got some great things for your life. God has plans for his chosen people for good and not disaster. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. The scripture teaches us that God is a God of mercy and love. Hallelujah. God is a God that always does what he said. Let, let's just read. Let's, I, I, the proof is in the scripture here. Uh, Jeremiah 29 11, For thus said the Lord that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good works toward you in causing you to return to this place. God said, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to bless you. Then verse number, uh, verse number 11, uh, he says in uh, Jeremiah 29, he said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. You realize God has specific thoughts toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace. Hallelujah. Not of evil to give you an expected end. God's got some things in your future. He said, I already got it planned. The head and not the tail, above only. Hallelujah. Verse number 12, he said, Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Uh, verse number 13, Jeremiah 29. Uh, and ye shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, said the Lord. And I will return, I will turn away your captivity and will gather you from all nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, uh, said the Lord. I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. God said it's just for time. Did y'all hear that? 
God said what you're going through is just for a period of time. How many of you believe that your uh, days ahead are going to be better than your days behind? Amen. Amen. God said, said that some of the things I'm allowing you to go through now, they're just uh, training. And that's why, that's why the Bible says, and everything give thanks. They were in bondage, but God, the Babylonians, were allowed to capture God's people because God said, do this now. Because what I have for them down the road is greater. You know, the old folks used to sing a song, better days are coming by and by. And they used to think it was in the sky. When I reached that city, Lord, way up in the sky, trouble will be over. I'll be home at last. But the scripture tells us that God will bless us right here. Amen. God's got blessing for us before we leave here. And, and that's why you have to take this scripture as, I, as I, I talk about this scripture today. I want you to understand. He says, I know the plans that I have for you. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. The Lord said, I know the plans that I have for you. I know the thoughts that I have that I think towards you. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Said the Lord, thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. It's already been planned. It's already been plotted out. God said, I know the plan. And that's why you have to learn to do what he was telling these people in this particular chapter. Get over your present circumstances because I'm able to keep you. I'm able to take care of you. I'm able to provide for you. I'm able to give you joy. And he says, uh, for I know the thoughts that I think to what you see. The devil wants us to think that God trying to kill us. He said, but I, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. You, yeah. Give you an expected end. Then shall you call upon me, and you shall go away unto me. Uh, go, and, uh, go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And you shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Verse 14. And I will be found of you, said the Lord. And I will turn away your captivity. The Lord said, I'm going to turn away all your negative things. And I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where, the, where the, I have driven you, said the Lord. I will bring you again into the place where I caused you to be carried away with. What is God saying to us as I close today? God is saying to us, hang in there. God said, don't, don't let people tell you you are not blessed because of this or that. God has a time. He said, I know the thoughts that I have toward you. I want to bless you. I want to lift you up. Hallelujah. I want to give you the desires of your heart. And he said, I want you to know, hallelujah, that while you're going through, this is the good part. The Lord says, while are you going through? I'm going to be with you. I'm going to open doors for you. Your prayers are going to be answered. You're going to learn some things about me that you haven't ever learned before. You'll learn that God will open the door that you thought would never be able to be open. God has a plan for your life. The enemy wants you to believe that you're going to have to suffer. You're going to have to do this. You've got to do that. But remember what the scripture here says. The Lord spoke to the people. And I want you to hear this as I close. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Somebody say expected end. That means blessing. He said, I'm set before you an open door. Uh, look at verse number 12 as I close. Then shall you call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. He said, your prayers will be answered. And verse 13, you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Verse 14, 
I will be found of you, said the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity. The Lord was telling the people that were in captivity, hang in there. I got you. In my own time, y'all coming out. And you ain't coming out poor. I'm going to bless you when you come out. Uh, uh, he, he said, I will turn away your captivity. I will gather you from all nations uh, and from all places where I have driven you. The Lord said, I allowed you to be in those places because I wanted you to understand that I am God. And I will bring you again to the place where I caused you to be carried away captive. As I close today, God told me to tell somebody, I don't know who it is, but the Lord told me to tell you, hang in there. Hang in there. Don't judge yourself by how much money you got in your pocket today. Don't judge yourself about what somebody think about you. Know that God has made you a promise. He said, I'll bless you going in. I'll bless you going out. And remember, he said, our steps are ordered by him, Psalm 37. And then he said also, and take this scripture with you, all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord who are called according to his purpose. I need somebody to wave at me and say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us now to stand on your promise. You said you'd never leave us. You said you'd never forsake us. You said our steps are ordered by you. Yes. You said all things hallelujah, work together for good. Bless us now to believe you and stand on your word. And bless us to know that you are God of mercy, a God of love. Yes. And you won't forsake us and you won't leave us. Bless us, hallelujah, to know that we are in your will. Yes. And we're trusting you to know, hallelujah, that our steps are are ordered by you. Bless us now in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord.